It's Miss Carrie from Bridgeville and South Fayette Township Libraries. And what we're doing today is basic stitches. So I'm a penny sewer and I found this amazing tutorial for um, 30 day stitches off of Jennifer Jangles at, on Etsy. And we're going to try it out together step by step. So let's see what you'll need. For this craft, what you'll need is an embroidery hoop, some fabric, needles, embroidery thread, and scissors. All right, so today we are learning the fishbone stitch. Put your needle through the back and pull your thread all the way through. For the fishbone, what you wanna do is you wanna make a longer first stitch than you normally would. And you want it to be down in the middle for your stitch. And next what you want to do is go to the right of your initial stitch and you want to bring it not into your stitch that you made, your initial stitch, but just below it. And then you want to do the same on the left. And then you want to keep doing, doing that pattern where you're starting on the right, going a little bit further below, starting on the, going to the left, just going a little bit below. So like you all know, I'm a beginning sewer. So what I am doing right now is, if you can tell, there are little inconsistencies of where I started um, with the outline of my fishbone stitch. So what I'm doing is just doing a back stitch along the outline to make it look a little more consistent. And I kind of like the, um, the contrast of the orange with the um, purple. That's all you have to do there. I'm going to do the same thing in the middle and make the, the make that pop. But the other thing that you could do is probably kind of like the satin stitch, you can keep uh, going back over your previous stitches um, that you probably could do as well. But this is what um, I chose to do for this one. And as always, if there's something that I'm doing wrong or saying wrong and you've done this stitch before, feel free to put in the comments um, better ways or techniques that you know of. Okay, and then that is how it turned out. I accidentally messed up one of the stitches in the middle right there, but otherwise I think that it looks really good um, other than the inconsistency of the lengths, but um, it looks pretty cool, I think. So that is how you do a fishbone stitch.